Hey, what's up guys? It's Hexshot87. And today we are going to be talking about the Ruger P95. Uh, this gun had a heck of a long running. Um, they started selling it in 2006. And they took it off of their website and everything uh, last year, October 2013. Uh, it was replaced with the SR9 series. And... Um, this thing was really, really, really popular, and it still is. It is still relevant. Um, I still see it in my shops around here. Uh, a couple of the shops even have some still brand new. Uh, a lot of uh, used ones. So we're going to talk about it today. It's still relevant and uh, still a cool gun. So we're going to talk about it and go over why it's so popular. So uh, paperwork and everything you do get. Um, you get a lock with the newer models, you get a speed loader and all that kind of stuff. So this is actually one of the older models. Uh, this is a, uh, we'll do the uh, safety check first. No bullets. No rounds. We're good to handle this for the video. Like I said, this is one of the older models, okay? Uh, this is the decocker only. All right, um, there is no Picatinny rail, so your newer models had the Picatinny rail. Um, and there are like three different models of this gun. They had the decocker only, the decocker with the safety, and they had a double action only pistol. Um, this one, like I said, is one of the older ones, so there is no stippling or anything on the grip. Which the newer ones actually have. You only have these uh, slots cut out in the grip. Which are basically useless in my opinion. But uh, you still can get a very, very nice purchase on the pistol. Uh, overall profile of the gun. It is weighs in about 27 ounces. And you have a 3.9 inch barrel. Uh, the, going on the profile, it is a little bit gaudy. You can tell from, you know, just looking at it, the decocker mechanism really sticks out. The slide stop sticks out. The slide stop is huge, by the way. Uh, and just, just handling the gun, you can tell it, it does feel a little bit top heavy. Uh, so this gun doesn't really uh, scream conceal carry out to me too much, but I know there's a lot of people that do, uh, which is cool, you know. Um, but the, the gun is is pretty pretty big uh, but for uh, but for the price point this gun just screams um, home defense or or range gun and I have shot this gun quite a few times and it is one of the softest shooting nine millimeter handguns I have ever ever shot and uh, you know I know it's only a nine millimeter but at the same time this thing is an absolute pleasure to shoot I mean it really is so uh, ambidextrous controls you have your magazine release and your decocker the magazine release is not standard like a push button style you actually slide it towards the trigger guard trigger guard so with that slight slide it actually comes right out which is pretty interesting a little bit different but it works pretty well Um, it is a double single action, so that first trigger pull is really long and breaks all the way at the rear, all the way at rear. Um, and this takes quite a bit getting used to. On your first shots, you know, I, it, it still throws me off a little bit. But after that, you have a wonderful single action. Here's your reset. And you can kind of see everything going on up here, which is pretty neat. But your single action is very short, very nice. So, um, double action takes a little bit getting used to. Single action is very nice. The, this, like I said, this is one of the older models. So this actually has the 10 round mags. They started using, going to the 15 round mags. 
Uh, one thing, if you guys know, I wasn't able to find a lot on this. Leave a comment below if you do know this. If Will the 15 round mags fit in the 10 round model? Uh, something I would like to know personally, but basically what they did is they cut out this little base plate here and were able to squeeze five more rounds out of it which I would like to see on this model as well you know a magazine this size you know I'd like to have more than 10 shots but you know it, it is what it is so um, why is this gun so popular uh, well one of the things I noticed first off just just handling the gun is how easy it is to manipulate from working the slide and I just had bilateral carpal tunnel surgery and I feel like I could do pretty much anything with this gun. It's very easy to manipulate. Uh, the slide stop is very easy to, to work. Um, and when you, uh, if you have a mag in here, shutting the slides. Now I do have to count my hands a little bit. I, I do have smaller hands, but either, either way, it's still really, really easy to manipulate this gun so I, I do like that a lot uh, the breakdown of the gun is not too bad at all you actually have your ejector right there and you just push that down and then basically what you want to do is you want to line your slide stop up with this little notch cut out in the slide and you have your little pin for your slide stop over here and basically you just push that on through push it through and your slide stop comes right out and the slide comes right off and that's it uh, you do have a dual spring setup here um, so I, I assume with that the weight and everything really makes this thing, you know, the soft shooter like it is. And this kind of rides on the uh, bottom side of the of the barrel hood here and kind of locks in a place like that. One interesting thing that I've seen all of the reviews and everything talk about the polymer rails here. There's no metal or stainless inserts on these. But, uh... I, I haven't seen too many issues or any issues at all with with these uh, polymer rails so you know that's not something that I that I really concerned with at all um, so and then to put the gun back together is very very simple like I said that just locks into place on the bottom side of the hood there bottom side of the barrel I should say so pretty interesting setup there Line that up there, push your pin back through. Alright. And then of course you want to push your ejector back up. And that's it. Alright, so uh, we are going to be taking this gun out very, very soon and doing a full shooting review on it. And uh, you do have a standard three dot sight system there, uh, which picks up really nice. Now the gun that replaced this, like I said, was the is the SR9C. And I'm interested to think what you guys know about, or you know, what you think about that. You know, do you think the SR9C is superior to this gun, and you know, justified completely removing it off of Ruger's website? Um, I actually had an SR9C and I really wish I didn't get rid of it because that thing would have been perfect to uh, to do a comparison with on this, on this gun. Uh, but the Ruger SR9C um, definitely was a heck of a shooter. I mean, I love that thing. I carried a little, little bit. It was pretty comfortable to carry. Uh, excellent, excellent shooting gun. Um, it did have a bunch of safety features and the all that kind of junk but you know I mean overall the gun was just awesome very very nice gun but 
uh, like I said, this, these guns are still out there. It's not like you cannot find the P95 anymore because you definitely can, at least in my area. They're all over the place. Still very relevant and people absolutely love these things. And uh, I'm one of them. You know, this is a uh, this is a perfect, perfect target gun. So, um, in wrapping this up, that is it, guys. Leave your comments and any questions that you have below. And uh, press the thumbs up button if you liked it. And make sure you subscribe so as soon as I put that channel out of, me sh of us shooting this thing and doing a review on it, you'll be the first ones to see it, okay? Thanks for watching.